Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. Today, let me show you how to make the black raspberry bellini for Valentine's Day. Let's get into it. It's great to have every single one of you back here, my friends. I'm so happy to see you. Today, I'm sharing a very simple and easy cocktail for you. And we're also sharing a little bit of how to make a chocolate raspberry and blackberry hors d'oeuvre to go with it. The cocktail we're making today is a black raspberry bellini. It is a riff on the original bellini, which was a perfect brunch cocktail. However, today's Valentine's Day, and you can share this with your special other, friend, cat, dog, houseplant, or just by yourself with a book, because this is your story and your cocktail. So let's get into something that is so simple and so easy to make, everybody will love it. So first we're gonna start by, let's begin by cutting your chocolate of choice up into small squares. Once that's done, bring your saucepan of water up to a boil, then add a double boiling pan to it, and then add your chocolate to that. Once the chocolate begins to melt, start to stir. It will then begin to change color, and then you add two tablespoons of butter to help give it a creamy, consistent texture. Once that's done, you continue to stir it until it is silky smooth. After that, you'll then place your berries on a wire rack and pour your chocolate over that, allowing the chocolate to drip through the rack so you, to remove the excess chocolate. Now that we've done that, you wanna grab your champagne flute. And you don't have to use a champagne glute. I'm just doing this because it looks pretty. It's your cocktail for you and somebody else. Do it the way you think they would really like it. So the first things we need are a blackberry and two raspberries. And we're just gonna throw them in here. Looks really simple, right? It is. <laughs> so grab your Chambord. Now, if you don't have Chambord, and say you have creme de cassis or another blackberry liqueur, this will work for you. Open it up, give it a bit of a smell, and really just enjoy it. So for this we need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Oh yeah, look at that. Simple, easy, special. Put that back there to look pretty. Take this, throw it over here, you don't need it anymore. Next, you wanna grab your sparkling white wine of choice. In this case, I'm using a Jackson and Tribbs sweet sparkling white wine, you could use whatever you want. And you just have to remember whatever sparkling wine that you choose to use, whether it's a cava or a uh, champagne, or you can get something brute, like very dry or very sweet. It is totally up to you. And because you're making this for your special other, you wanna control how you pop your cork. Because after all, you don't wanna take an eye out, do you? So give it a bit of a turn. Give it a bit of a, and look at that. Whoa, ah, uh, yeah. And what we'll do is put approximately four ounces or 120 milliliters of your sparkling white wine in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful coloration, simple fruits, you can't go wrong. You know what else is better? You bring out the hors d'oeuvres that you made by hand. Chocolate covered raspberries and blackberries. And you know what? You don't have to spend a lot of money to have a good time. Something made by hand and simple and easy to make will set you off to having a great night. And you know what? Look at this. Smells great. You immediately get little hints of the Chambord and a little bit of the sparkling white wine. Mmm. Oh, that is good. This sparkling white wine is just sweet enough for me and it picks up and draws up the fruit flavors. Uh, if you pick one up that's not sweet enough for you by the time you put everything together, you could put a dash of simple syrup in 
whatever fits your presence. You could even rim the top of the glass with sugar. That's your choice. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and a method of how to make all of this down in the description down below. If you think I should use a different sparkling wine or a different berry liqueur, please leave a comment. I'd really appreciate that. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps to bring these cocktails to you. You know what? You have a great day with that somebody special or you know what? Hell, just sit down with a book and relax and enjoy yourself. You have a great night. So, making my deserves. To start this off right, let's show and a special chocolate raspberry fruit absorb. But I got smart. I'm doing it for February 14th, just for you. Valentine's Day is February 14th, right? <laughs>